Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Art Jarrett. Well, good morning to you. Fog has um, really moved into the coastal areas as well as down along the Salinas Valley. You see it filling in all the way from King City to Bradley and down below, even extending, trying to get into Parkfield. Halster, you're picking up a little bit of that fog as well. And you're going to see that getting into the uh, all the way into the Pacheco Pass as well, working in. Most of this is a uh, fog and low cloud activity, and the low clouds are going to continue to you see extend all the way to the north. And eventually, we're going to see uh, most of it start to clear out. It's not that bad as way in the form of fog, as you can see, working back into San city but once you get it to or looking towards northern marina you're going to start to see that pick up and get all the way into castroville as well we're going to see the ir here you can see how everything's kind of moving offshore we have colder air well to the north coming out of the intermountain west and that's continuing to work its way back into the sacramento valley moving offshore by humboldt and then coming back again is cooler air for our coastal areas and that's helping to dry out most of the uh, central valley as well you're going to see a little bit of rainfall getting into the sierra nevada mountain just along the foothills over the next couple of days here take a look at this area of low pressure moving into the Great Basin as it whips around a little bit of moisture here getting into the Sierra holding on there to some locations as, as well as in to portions of central Nevada and then that uh, moisture itself you're seeing a little bit more of it pop up along the coastal areas you're going to see a large batch of moisture try to get closer and closer to us but it's really not going to pay out uh, pan out or though you're going to see more of the warmer air still coming in from this area of low pressure that keeps opening up and allowing warm air to come in and kind of closes it off you can see the stationary front so it looks like it's not going anywhere anytime soon. So we're going to see a cool California coast. Northern California is going to stay in that moisture as well. And a lot of it continues to swirl up in the Lake Tahoe area and northward of that. So bear that in mind if you're trying to get up there. Again, fog tracker is going to show you the fog gets out of the way pretty quickly this morning as we get into the afternoon hours because of breezy winds. We're going to see temperatures today mostly in the 60s along the coast, some 70s once you get down to Southern California, 70s and 80s in the interior portion of the state. And today we'll have uh, conditions mostly a little bit breezy. Uh, west 5 to uh, 10 to 15 miles per hour holding on to some of that cloud cover. We'll call it partly cloudy skies with some clearing up in Santa Cruz, eventually down to the Monterey Peninsula. 68 to 77 degrees for you. Once you get in the mountains and the valleys, slightly cooler than we were uh, uh, last or yesterday afternoon. You're going to see these numbers get in the 60s up in the Bay Area to the low 70s holding on to the South Bay. We'll translate that back over into the Santa Cruz County area with cooler conditions along the coastal side. Yeah, well below seasonal averages today. And that will continue right through much of the inland side as well, getting to cooler conditions yet again. We'll see 60s and 70s down through the Salinas Valley, touching those temperatures again around the 60s again for the Monterey Peninsula, 71 for Carmel Valley. And then tonight we'll see those numbers patchy uh, with patchy bay fog. Your overnight temperatures in the 40s and the 50s with inland low clouds returning back again in cooler temperatures. It's going to be one of those things where you're going to have it uh, uh, through the next few days with that fog coming in overnight again in the 60s and holding on to most, most of the coastal areas for your Amgen tour as well, getting up to the 70s and some of the mountains, possibly 80s in the higher interior mountains. And we're going to see the inland side as well, 60s and 70s to the 80s by the weekend, as I promised. Pretty okay. nice ride for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to yeah, be fantastic. The only sure. thing is they're going to be going the against the wind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. Yeah. thanks.